Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now let me discuss about the extracting salient brain patterns for imaging based classification of neurodegenerative diseases. In this process the neurodegenerative diseases comprise a wide variety of mental symptoms whose evaluation is not directly related to the visualized analysis. In our method, we are going to implement the kernel functions for future extraction to identify the neurogenerative Alzheimer's diseases in the brain image. The automatic brain morphometry analysis that do perform this qualification contribute very little. Many of these methods classify they do not produce useful anatomy functional. Mainly, our paper presents a new fully automatic imaging analysis method that reveals discriminative brain patterns associated to the presence of neurodegenerative diseases. First, the input image has converted into gray image and processed by the saliency map image. After getting the saliency map image, we have to normalize, that means we have to change the intensity level to our process to saliency map and applying the kernel fusion kernel fusion for the future extraction of the images after extracting the features of the images finally by using the SEM classifier to classify the values classify the future values and identify anatomical regions these process are bottom up and top down information flows in the process bottom up information comes from a multi scale analysis for different image features while the top-down stage includes learning for fusion strategies formulated as max margin multiple kernel optimization problems. The capacity of finding discriminative anatomical patterns was evaluated using the Alzheimer diseases as in this paper. Finally, the anatomical analysis discriminant regions was found by our proposed algorithm. This is the flow diagram of our project. And here, there are the two sections. The first one is the trained section and another one is the test section. So first we have to do the trained section because we have to train all images in the database. And after that we have to test by each and every image by using by using the test images by one by one. In both trained section and test test section the process are same. The only difference is in train we have to train whole database but in test in test section we have to test by one by one images and here we are using the kernel fusions for future extraction and using the SVM classifier to classify the images now let me see the process first the input image the input brain image will be calculated by using the saliency maps after the calculating the saliency map image, the image will be normalized by changing the intensity level. By using the normalized image, it will pass through the kernel fusions to extract the futures. After getting the futures, we will combine the both dataset futures and the test futures by using the SVM classifier in the classifier will provide some labels due to the images by using the label we identify the anatomical interpretations in the anatomical interpretations the red regions are associated as the pathologies and the blue regions are associated as normality so finally the performance analysis for our project now let me see the coding execution part so open the main.m function file so click on the run button so this is our output window first we have to load the input image so click on the load image button so go to the data set folder so here i am having a 35 images you can select any one of the image from the data set so i am choosing this one so this is our input image and this is our input gray image the next process is we want to getting the silence map from the gray image so click on the saliency map button so 
so uh, this is our silencing map images image so next process is future extraction so click on the future button before we get in the future extraction we have to normalize the silencing map so we have to click the normalize button so this is our normalized image the next process is future extraction so click on the test future button this is our future extraction values for our normalized image so click on the next button let's go for it will go for the next process so next process is classification so have to click the classification button in classification we are using the SVM classifier to classify the images so click on the classifier button so this is our output image so click on the detail button so the red, red regions are associated to the pathologies and blue regions are associated to the normality so the disease are the identified so go to the next process so click on the next button so final process is our result so click on the result button this is the result analysis for our project so next thing is graph so click on the plot graph button so this this is a graph for our project this is for balanced accuracy graph the existing method we are using a VBM method and proposed method is kernel method and this is a specificity graph for our project and this is sensitivity of our project and this is the accuracy graph for our project if you want to exit click on this exit button thank you